Hi all, it's Kristen. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do um, something a little different. I wanted to go ahead and do, actually a two-parter. Um, I want to do my makeup that I would go out and purchase if I lost all my makeup. But I wanted to break it into high-end and drugstore or affordable. Um, so today I'm going to do the high-end. I was going to start with the affordable, but I'm just going to start with the high-end today. Um, so what I mean by that, <clears throat> now obviously if I lost all my makeup, I couldn't afford to go out and get all of this at once, but these are the pieces that I would slowly start getting and I would want to replace pretty consistently. Um, these are the ones that I would go for first before anything else. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and kind of go get started with that. So the first thing I'm going to do is... I've been really falling in love with Max Fix Plus. This is a little tiny lavender size. And I just love the way it feels on my skin. Ooh, I really love this. This is, like I said, this is a lavender. It smells so good. But I've been really, really loving the way this feels on the skin. I also have really been loving my Pearlescence Rose Hip Oil. Now this, this isn't really high end. You can get this at TJ Maxx. Um, but... It, for, for both both high-end or drugstore, this is one item that I think that I would go back out and buy from TJ Maxx's, this Pearlescence Rose Hip and Vitamin C Balancing Oil. I really love the way this feels, and I usually put this on right before my makeup, or right when I'm starting to do my makeup, because I do my eyes first usually, just so I can let it soak in, and it's so nice and smooth, so there we go. Nice and hydrated. Nice and hydrated. Now it is summer and SPF is important. Um, however, it is five o'clock. I'm not going anywhere. So, but um, I have been really enjoying, and apparently I don't have it right here. I must have moved it back into my bathroom. I've been enjoying the Shiseido um, SPF 50 sunblock. And uh, you, when I go out, the last couple months so that I've had it or in the last month or so that I've had it I actually I like using that but uh I'm probably just going to be taking my taking a shower and taking this off soon and I just got to make dinner after this so <laughs> pretend like I put on sunscreen um first of all I already have on my lips this Laneige um lip glowy balm to prep my lips as well so I'm just moisturizing right now I love this stuff. This stuff is amazing. I would definitely repurchase this. If I were to lose my makeup, this is definitely something that I would repurchase. I am a lip fanatic. Not lipstick so much, but like chapstick and like lip balm. So this this definitely, definitely works for me. Now I don't have an eyeshadow primer right now that I would run out and buy. Um, if I had to I, I love my Milani one, which is my drugstore choice. This all day, every day. If I were to have a choice and I was able to run out and buy a high-end primer, I would use the MAC 24-hour uh, eye primer. That stuff was amazing. Urban Decay and Too Faced, their eyeshadow primers are, they're great. They don't work for me. Uh, the Too Faced one is too oily. It has more of an oily base, and I have more oily lids, so it just doesn't mix. And then the the Urban Decay one, maybe it's just because I have the anti-aging one. I haven't had the original one in a while, but whatever. Um, so I would definitely run out and get the MAC one. But right now, I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. Right now, I'm digging this. I've only used it, like, three times, so I can't say it's an absolute favorite. I hate the packaging. It gets everywhere. It just... Yeah, see, I'm not even touching it, and it's already coming out. I do like that you only need, like, that much, like, a drop of blood amount to do both eyelids. I do like that. But see, it's coming out, and I'm not even touching it, so I don't like that about it. It wastes a lot of product. This is a mini version, by the way, but so far, I'm really liking it. This may be a new favorite. I'm not sure yet. i got to try it a few more times. <clears throat> so if I had to go out and um, I'll link in the cards my whatever way it is I'll link in the cards my eyeshadow collection where I where I'm if I could only choose one in each brand um, 
I'll link that so that you can look at all my eyeshadow palettes that I have. But if I had to run out and buy a, you know, start from scratch, the first one I would buy would be the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam. It's neutral. It's got a little bit of color. It's got some nice shine. It's got nice mattes. It's an easy formula. It's nice to work with. I would definitely go with this one. Um, it was kind of a no-brainer. It was funny because I was like, what would I do? And then I was like, you know what? I know exactly which one I would do. Um, it was between this and the Naked Reloaded. But I actually, I, I haven't had this as long. I've had this for a while now and I just get so much use out of it. I had this for so long now that I just, this just would definitely be the one I would repurchase. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Tempra which is this color here, this white creamy color here, and use it to set the eyes. This isn't really going to be a tutorial. This is just going to be showing you why these things are my favorite at this point. I'm like looking behind you again. i got to stop that. I need to get my mirror. <laughs> I need to get my mirror, my handheld. Uh, I don't know why I do that. Because I'm crazy, that's why. This has a little bit of a sheen to it, so it's not like my perfect creamy white matte. But that's okay. That's okay. I can deal with that. I can deal with it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the color Dusty Rose, which is this purple here. And actually, you know what? No, I'm going to go in first with Burnt Orange. And I'm going to use that as my transition. I'm not going to talk about my brushes because most of my brushes aren't even high end. They're mostly affordable. And I have a whole... I have a whole um, video on my brushes. In fact, I can li link that for you as well down below. So I have a whole video showing you my brushes and my favorites and why they're my favorites and all of that. Mm -hmm. So we'll say if money was no object, these are the these are the holy grail items that I would run out and buy. <laughs> How about that? If money was no object, there's a train song called "I Am" and. There's a lyric in it and it says, there hasn't been a day when money hasn't gotten in my way. And I'm just like, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> but if it didn't, all right, see how easily that blended? Oh, I love that. Ooh, sorry, my cat is having a field day. Hi, buddy. I woke him up from his nap prematurely. Bad Kristen. Now I'm going to go in the color Dusty Rose right here. Purple. And put that more directly in my crease. Alright, and then to deepen it up a little bit, I'm going to take the color... I'm going to mix... Rustic and Mulberry just this uh, cranberry color right here, rustic and mulberry, and I'm going to deepen the outer corner. The outer corner, the outer V. I know what the term is, I swear. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the color glistening. Now, you know what? I'm going to go in with rose pink. Mm, yeah, I'm going to go in with rose pink. I'm just going to go in with my finger. I have such a dip in this color. And I'm going to go ahead and tap it on my lid. Look at that shimmery pink. It's so pretty. I love these shadows. They're so pigmented and so soft. Look how pretty that is. That's gorgeous. Oh. All right. I gotta clean up my fallout because with these Anastasia palettes you are gonna get with these Anastasia palettes you are gonna get fallout. <laughs> it's just the nature of how soft they are. Okay. All right. So the next thing we're gonna do is the complexion. So I already put on my Fix Plus and my Pearlescence. So if you've ever watched my channel before, you probably know the next step that's coming. It is the Charlotte Tilbury. Hollywood Flawless Filter. I have mine in number two. I love this stuff. It gives you such a nice glow from within. I'm so sad that it's running low, but that's okay. I'll probably wait until 
the sale to buy another one. Um, but we'll see. The sale in November. <laughs> um, so I just put these on, this on the high points of my cheeks. And then I take my beauty blender and I just bounce it in. Oh, I forgot my, uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Oh, well, I'll show you in a minute. Yeah, you can see how dry it's getting. Oh, so sad. That's all right. Put that on the high points of my cheeks. Or on the high points of my face. I forgot to put on the Tatcha the silk canvas. Now, honestly... If I had to run out and buy my makeup and, I, and money was no object, I'd get both. But this is nice. I like this a lot. Um, but this would win hands down. Um, they're both considered primers. This is just more of an all over face primer. You can have this as an all over face primer, but I usually just use it like I, like I just showed you in the high points of my face. Um, you can also mix it in with your foundation. but. If I was going to get just a regular primer, I would definitely get the Tatcha Silk Canvas. Eh, eh, but I've already put on. You know what? We'll put a little bit on anyway. <laughs> Usually you do this step before you put on the, the shimmery primer. We'll put it on the forehead and bring it down a little bit. Put it on the chin. Put it more like down here on the cheeks where I didn't put that, that shimmery product. It'll be okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I do love this. I do love this. I'm on the fence of whether or not it actually does anything, but I love how silky it makes my skin feel, and it does help the makeup go on nicely. So in that respect, it does work. So I have a lot of foundations, um, and my favorite, my, my favorite all-time favorite high-end is the... Urban Decay Naked Skin. However, I haven't had it in a while, but my current favorite and really probably the one that I'd go get, is especially like I said, out of the ones that I, out of the stuff that I already own, would be the Bound Sealer by Tarte. I love this stuff. I, Tarte concealers are kind of hit or miss, I think for everybody, but I, I really enjoyed this a lot. I got a sample size and I actually used up the entire sample size which is very, very rare. Usually I forget about samples <laughs> quite often. Um, but that I literally used the entire thing and it was a generous sample size too. And then I ran out and I bought the, I bought the big one. Um, I do like to use my beauty blender with this. So we're going to go ahead and just blend this in. I'm going to do a second. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do a very thin second coat second coat, second layer. Focus it mainly on the places that I I need extra cover, obviously. <laughs> Ugh, ignore my hair. I feel like I say that in every video. Ignore my hair, ignore my eyebrows, ignore my nails. <laughs> I need to become a better beauty YouTuber, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now I do, I do have two concealers that I really, 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 really love. I really, I, I Laura Mercier, uh, the Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wearing Concealer has been my favorite for a while now. I really, really enjoy this. And my recently, and my recently, and recently I've been really liking the Bare Minerals uh, Complete Coverage Serum Serum Concealer as well. Um, I'm really, really enjoying both of these. Right now, the Bare Minerals is more my color, but honestly, if I had to choose, I'd probably... Actually, no, you know what? I probably would would run out and get the Bare, uh, Bare Minerals one. I just have been really, really loving it. Um, it really has kind of replaced my Laura Mercier, but I highly recommend both. And if I couldn't get my hands on the Bare Minerals ones, I would get the Laura Mercier one. But right now, I think I'm really leaning more toward the Bare Minerals in a shocking upset. <laughs> nobody's, nobody's upset about anything. Again, I'm just going to use my, my work course here, which is my beauty blender. 
which is another thing that I would replace pretty quickly would be my beauty blender. Now the only setting powder that I really, really like powder that I really have been impressed with since I have normal the dry skin and I don't usually need powder, but I do need to set my under eyes. The only one that I've been really impressed with has been my here we go. My Charlotte Tilbury, really reflective and dirty packaging. My Charlotte Tilbury, um, what is this called? This is called the Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Powder. But because it's summertime, it's a little too light for me right now. Actually, you know what? I haven't used it. Maybe it won't be so bad. Let's, let's try it today. I would definitely, this is an expensive powder, but this is definitely my favorite powder to set my under eyes with. Look at that big pan I have. I love this stuff. Charlotte Tilbury being all expensive, but good. Darn her. Darn her. We're going to try this today since I don't have to go anywhere. See if it is too late for me still. Because I, I, I have been getting a lot of sun lately. Um, no, it's not bad. Okay, maybe I can pull this back out. Give it a little bit of brightness under the eyes. Okay, all right. Ooh, as long as I'm, as long as I'm light-handed. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad I did that. All right. So definitely my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish, um, Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. Okay. But I have it in number one, so that's why I was not using it. But actually, it doesn't look bad at all. I'm so excited I could use that again. So I don't really have a powder high-end bronzer right now that I'm really enjoying. All of my bronzers, powder bronzers that I'm really, really enjoying are from the drugstore. But I do love this Milk Makeup um, cream bronzer and really, honestly, I've been using the using this to death. Um, using this quite consistently this past summer, so I am, you know, so this is definitely my favorite high-end bronzer. Um, it's a cream bronzer, which, again, may be a little intimidating some some people, but I love this stuff. And I find that it's quite easy to use. I just stripe it on, and then again, with the beauty blender, I just, I find it melts right into the skin. It's so pretty. Oh, I love the way that is. That is. I love the way that looks. Excuse me. Words are hard, apparently. I usually uh, film in the morning, but it's the evening now, and apparently, apparently I, I, I can't speak either mornings or evenings. Good to know, right? Good to know. Uh, <laughs> so that is my bronzer. For my blush, hands down, no questions asked. Absolutely... I, again, absolutely no question here. My Buxom Wonderlust bronzers, um, primer infused bronzers. I have a couple of these. I have three of them. I have this color here, which is called Seychelles. I have Dolly, which is a more pink color, and I have Mykonos, which is a more, um, a more peachy color. Um, this is, they, they call this bronzy, but honestly it's a very neutral color on me, so I'm going to use this one, because I have it in my hand, but I, I recommend all three. I, I need to get the rest of the range, it's, they are amazing, like seriously, I'm so impressed by those blushes. They're so pigmented, and so easily, easy to blend, and they're just, oh, I love everything about them. See, and they just bring life to the skin. And they wear really well. Some blushes and you're like, I know I, I know I put on some color on my face, but but these ones wear really well. So there we go. And then my all-time favorite high-end would run out and purchase um, highlighter, and I would purchase the mini. 
to be completely honest with you, um, they, they have a mini version of it and I will never ever use this up. <laughs> Which is why I'm like, I will buy the mini of them, but I'll still buy it. It's the Becca. It's the Becca. What are these called exactly? These are the Shimmering Skin Perfectors, and this is Moonstone. This is the color that I love is Moonstone. This is my all-time favorite. I really like all of the Becca highlighters that I have. But for some reason, Moonstone, just, just with the tone of my skin and just uh, I'm on the lighter side, it's just beautiful on me and I love it. All right, so, beautiful. Um, so then I'm going to do, uh, I'm gonna do my brows before I move on to finishing the eyes. To be honest with you, if I had to run out and purchase a brand new eye, eyebrow product and I had to, um, if I had to run out and buy a brand new eye, eyebrow product, it would be the Benefit Gimme Brow. It's a brow tint, not really like a pencil or anything, but it's quick, it's easy. It gives you enough color, ooh, ooh, ooh. Gives you enough color to make it look like your brows are fuller. But it doesn't give you that like, it obviously isn't gonna give you that defined look that a pencil will. Um, but to be completely honest with you, most days I don't want that look. Most days I just want my eyebrows to look a little bit fuller and like they have some life to them and like they don't have spare, uh, like spare, <laughs> sparse spots in them. That's really all I want out of my eyebrows, people. That's all I want. So honestly, to be completely honest with you, I would just, I would get the benefit, give me bro. Now if I were going to choose an actual pencil, I do really love the, the Urban Decay Brow Blade. But it's kind of a waste for me because I don't use the ink stain spot uh, uh, side of it. So I don't really use that. But I do really love the pencil. Oh, you know what the other one that I really love is? And honestly, I do love this, but I've changed my mind in the middle of, of this. <laughs> I would actually choose the It Brow Power instead. Spooling on one end and a nice angled pencil on the other. It's a universal color. Depending on how hard you kind of press, it gives you as much color as you need or don't need. I actually would go back out and purchase this. I've really been enjoying this. I really, really enjoy this. So these two, final answer, <laughs> would be the Gimme Brow and the It Brow Power. But the, the Gimme Brow would be the first thing that I would go get. For eyeliner, for actually, you know what? Before we do eyeliner, let's finish up the eyes. Okay, so for under the eyes, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into my soft glam palette, and I'm gonna go. Actually, I'm gonna go into Dusty Rose, and I'm gonna run that under my lower lash line, and then I'm gonna take the color Glistening, and I'm gonna use that as my inner corner highlight. Okay, and then for eyeliner, for my for liquid eyeliner, the Fenty Beautiful Eyeliner, I got this kind of on a whim, but I really, really enjoy this. It gives a nice thin line. It you, It's easy to control. It's a tad bit flimsy, but it's still really easy, even for a novice like me who's not great at liner. It's still, it, it's still easy for me to do. So I think if you just kind of work with it and concentrate and take your time, which you should with liner anyway, especially liquid liner. You're good to go. If you're new here, I don't do wings. I'm just not good at them. I've tried. When they, I, I know what my weaknesses are. I practice. I try, but I'm not great at it. My fly liner is really drying out, so I've really got to get a new one. Um, but right now I have a drugstore one that I'll show you in my next video that I'm really enjoying. So until that one dries out, I probably won't repurchase this. But I do, it, it, if I had to repurchase as, as this whole theme is going, I would definitely repurchase the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. The other one that I would do, a pencil, would actually be um, on the more affordable end. Is this Tiramisu? Yeah. On the more affordable end of the 
eyeliners. This is the Sephora brand, and it's the uh, Sephora Contour Eye Pencil 24 Hour Wear. I love this brand, and I love I love this brand's eyeliner. I love Sephora brand eyeliner. It is amazing. I think they're comparable to the Urban Decay, and honestly, I don't get as much, I don't get quite the color payoff with Urban Decay. Sorry. As I do with these, um, they're much less expensive than the Urban Decay, and honestly, the quality is just there. I like them. I like them a lot, and they they stay longer on me than the Urban Decay ones. So yeah, I would definitely. This is definitely the pencil liner that I would choose. I'm gonna put this in my waterline. So then I'm gonna go back in with my Fix Plus. Set everything in place. <laughs> I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I don't change up my eyelash curler at all. Um, I have a Tweezerman eyelash curler. I get them at Target or Ulta and I just, I, I've used this brand for years and years and years. I don't, I, there's some things that I just don't change and my, eye, my eyelash curler is one of them. Now my all time favorite. My all-time favorite high-end mascara is Tarte's Lights, Lights Cameras Lashes. This is a, um, a mini version. I also have a big size. I actually have two big backups right now. Um, but my mini size is still going strong, so I'm going to use this. But hands down, best high-end mascara for me personally is Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes. I would, this would definitely be the one that I would go get. I've tried other high-end mascaras. I like them. I like the Benefit Roller Lash. Um, I'm sure there's other ones that I like as well, but nothing so far has beaten Lights Camera, Lights Camera Lashes for me. And last but not least, lips. So you guys know how I feel about lips. And if you don't know how I feel about lips, well, let me tell you. Let me tell you. No, I'm just kidding. Um, like I said, I really love these Laneige Glowy Lip Balms. These are, is that what they're called? Lip Glowy Balms, excuse me. I really, really enjoy this. Um, for, for lip gloss, 100% again, the Fenty Beauty Glosses. I have two of them. I'm looking to see where my other, oh, here we go. Um, I always keep uh, Fussy with me in my purse, but this is the original lip gloss. Uh, um, I'm sorry, this is the original. This is in Fenty Glow, and this is in Diamond Milk. These are my favorite lip gloss formula, hands down. There's only three colors, and honestly, I would go back out and I would buy all three. But especially Fussy. Especially Fussy. Those are my favorite lip colors. My favorite, I don't, I don't really do lips. My favorite lipstick, just one, is MAC Brave. This is my third tube of MAC Brave. I love this thing. Ooh, it's getting all, oh, it's getting all weird. Oh, well, that's okay. Um, but MAC Brave is definitely my favorite, all-time favorite lipstick. I like the MAC MAC um, cream sheens. I believe this is a cream sheen. I'm sorry, this is a satin. I do like their cream sheens as well. But I don't know that I would consider the whole brand or the whole range my favorite. As a single, singular lipstick, MAC Brave. I don't know that I have really a favorite, like, line of lipsticks for high end I, I i honestly i don't want to say one just to say one i honestly i don't so i'm just gonna say my favorite all-time favorite lipstick is mac brave my favorite lip gloss line again is the fenty glosses there's only three colors but honestly they're amazing i'm just gonna put a little bit of diamond milk they feel amazing they feel, they feel just as soft and uh, creamy and amazing. Oh, that looks pretty. As these, as the glowy, as the lip glowy bombs. They're, they're the same like 
they just make your lips feel luxurious. That's what I want to say. Luxurious. <laughs> so there we go. So those are my favorite items, high-end items from each category that if I were to lose my makeup tomorrow, I would run out and get. If money were no object, I'd run out and get them all at once. But, you know, those would be the things that I would replace first. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a drugstore version of this as well. Give this a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you as always for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell to be notified every time I upload. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.